What is going on fam? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a way to get into your trunk uh, through the inside of your car. Um, basically folding down the seats from the inside of the car instead of the outside of the car. So basically I shut the FD trunk and I um, shut the back seats. So I can't get into the back trunk because the, the latch isn't set up yet. And I didn't think I was gonna be able to get in through the inside of the car because I didn't know of any entrance uh, to fold back the seats. The only way I knew was to pop the trunk and uh, pull in the lever. But I did figure out a way to get inside without uh, opening your trunk. So this might be helpful for some of you guys. I'm not sure if anyone's ever ran into this predicament. I'm sure it's not common, but if you did, this is something that I've never seen before. And just looking into it, I found out how to do it. So let's get straight to it. Okay, basically, so first thing I did was I took my headrest out simply by pushing on this button and pulling it out. And uh, second, I don't know if you guys can see through this video. Oh, yep, you could see it. You see that cable? Um, well, before I get to that, this was like this. And you literally just pop her open, come over to here, and you, there's that cable. So for my understanding, I want to get to the right side. So I'm gonna get to that side and push it towards the outside of my car. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate that for you guys. And let's see if we can get this back seat open. And while you do that, you might wanna pull on the seat itself just to uh, get that thing engaged. So the tools I brought with me today are simply just a long flathead screwdriver and a butter knife just in case. All right, so let's get to this. I'm gonna throw my, I'm gonna start with my flathead. I'm gonna get her in there, right? And um, like another hole down there. Okay, so basically what I'm realizing right now is you don't wanna just go straight down. You kinda wanna go on an angle like, like that. Maybe even get something with like a skinnier base so you could uh, maneuver it around this bracket a little bit easier. But I think I'm about to get it. Um, I'm just going to have to put the camera down just because I have to use both hands to pull this out. But basically, you guys get the idea. Um, I mean, you see it. You see the cable. So I'm literally just going to the right side of it, to the end of it, and I'm going to try to pull it back. And as I pull the seat back, so I'll be right back and let's see if I can get this. Yo, so I'm kind of shook right now. I did not think that was going to work, Loki. <laughs> Loki did not think that was gonna work, but yo, I might be able to give you guys like a better, a better little showing right here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so basically what I just did was instead of sticking the screwdriver like all the way down there, which was what I was doing in the beginning, sticking all the way down there to the right. Basically, I just I didn't put it in as far. I kind of used the flathead, and I kind of just like. I think I put it, I'd say around like, honestly, like that deep, not even that deep and just got it and boom, pulled it over and she came right up. But if you guys see, there's like a little green piece in there. Uh, camera will pick it up. You see that little green piece in the corner right there? If you guys saw that little green part that was, uh, that I just had on, you basically want to pull that out. So that's pretty much it. And uh, now we got her open. So I am hype. Woo, jeez. So I know that was just a quick little video for you guys, uh, nothing crazy. I honestly just wanted to upload this just in case anyone came into a similar situation because I for one had no clue uh, what to do. And I was a little, uh, a little shaken up. I was thinking some bad things, guys, that I was gonna have to do to get to, to get open that trunk. And I'm glad that's all I had to do. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, maybe leave a thumbs up. If you guys wanna keep up with the FD2 build right there, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I should have one out really soon. I just wanted to upload this one for you guys just because I was doing it and it's something that I feel like not a lot of people have done. So it might be to use for some of you guys, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, fam. Oh,